North is a temporary public art installation along Heights Boulevard, one of my favorite things, especially when they start changing it out, organized completely by an all-volunteer team and the Houston Heights Association. It's really cool and it's beautiful as well. The sculptures are located in eight different sites, all created by local Texas artists. Lauren Kelly is in the Heights this afternoon with an up-close look. Hey, Lauren. Hey guys, you know, if you've ever been up and down Heights Boulevard, I'm sure that you have noticed some spectacular art pieces that have changed over the years. This is True North's eighth year for putting up these installations, and it's all done by Texas artists, and no better a person to tell us more about it than the co-creator herself. This is Chris Silkwood, who's joining us today to kind of break down exactly what True North is, because there are so many people like Courtney Zavala, who runs up and down here or, yes. or run the neighborhood. Yes have seen this, but where did it come from? Yes. Well, as you said, it began eight years ago, actually about a year prior to that, because it was the brainchild of Gus Copriva, who's uh, a well-known gallery owner here in the Heights, Redbud Gallery. Okay. And he really wanted to bring public art to the people so that people could walk up to it, know who the artist's name was, look at the pieces up close, and really become somewhat interactive, you know, with them. So he had the idea of putting it on Heights Boulevard. This is a declared scenic right-of-way, and it runs for a total of 17 blocks. It's 40 feet wide, so it's a perfect environment for sculpture where people can walk freely and be safe out here and so forth. So what we did initially, we met with uh, Public Works and the Parks Department, designated eight locations okay. because this Esplanade is kind of an information freeway. There's buried lines and pipes and stuff. Chris, yeah. I want you to hold on to that information because coming up a little bit later on the show, I want us to talk about some of the artists that are along Heights Boulevard and yes. a couple more of the pieces because like you said, it's so wide, it's so inviting. It's it's perfect for Houstonians to kind of come up, walk yes. up, and even check out the information that they have right over there. So don't go anywhere. Chris is going to stay with us. We're here on Heights Boulevard checking out the True North art installation that's going to go through December. Derek and Courtney, for now, back to you guys in the studio. Always great to see and good to see the artists behind this project as well. Yeah, beautiful day for it. The True North Heights 2021 art project is completely taken over Heights Boulevard all the way up to 18th Street. You will notice some beautiful sculptures all done by Texas artists. And we're learning more about the entire project today with co-creator Chris Silkwood. Thank you again for joining us. This is so great because as a Houstonian, mm -hmm. I've spent my entire life kind of up and down this boulevard, always seeing the art, but really never knowing where it came from. Yes, yeah. And you know, it's such a great community effort. It's funded by the residents, by the area businesses every year, and it's a small group of volunteers mm -hmm. that put it together, and yeah. we want to just keep doing I it. I mean, you get so much joy out of it, and you can literally walk up and read about yeah. each piece. Before we move on to this piece, I want to mention, where were we just before? What piece was that? We were in the 1200 block, okay. and that was a piece by um, artist Bill Peck. Okay. He's known for his decorative ironwork, and it's called Searching for Balance. Okay. Okay, that was the seesaw, yes. teeter-tottering one. I see the computers in the family. Let's talk a little bit about this artist because I know our viewers are going to recognize him and his work. Yes. Well, this is called Three Colorful Friendly Trees. Okay. And this is by somebody that most people know, David Attucks. And David Attucks is known for the president's heads. Okay. And the Beatles. And the We Love Houston the, the sign. We Love is that Houston his? sign. Okay. And okay. we were so happy to have him here this year. David is 94 years old. And trust me, he is not slowing down oh, it's in wonderful. the least bit. Always moving on to the next project. You told us he's done a lot of stuff in, in Paris and France, and he's got some pretty famous friends, too. Oh, yeah. Picasso being oh, one of them. That's a little name drop, <laughs> a little brag right there. Chris, thank you so much for all the information today. If you guys happen to be in the Heights or want to know where each of these sculptures is located, I've got a link on our website at HoustonLife.tv with all the information. This is so cool. Thank you again. Thank so you for much. being for here. For sure. Derek and Courtney, sending it back to you guys in studio now. So beautiful, and I love hearing a little about the story behind them, Lauren. Nicely done.
one of my favorite places, of course, mm -hmm. on Heights Boulevard. After the break, guys, a look at